with both Winona Ryder and Christina Ricci being in the same film, I had pretty high hopes for Mermaids. This is the 1990 film directed by Richard Benjamin, uh, with screenplay by June Roberts, based on the novel by Patty Dan. And I have to say, this was not the most exciting film I've ever seen. I feel a little bit let down by it. And I also think that I probably wouldn't have watched it were it not for Ryder and Ritchie being in this. So maybe I think it's just not the film for me. However, I still had aspects of it that I thought I would enjoy, namely Ryder and Ritchie's performances. And I have to say, both were good. The entire cast was good. The acting was good across the board. But young Christina Ritchie was particularly brilliant. So the description from IMDb is as follows. An unconventional single mother relocates with her two daughters to a small Massachusetts town in 1963, where a number of events and relationships both challenge and strengthen their familial bonds. So it's about her mother, a mother and her two daughters going through challenges and coming together. And it's a nice, you know, it's a nice message and it works well. There are some hiccups and problems. The two daughters being two very different ages present an array of different emotions. And it's a nice one to study if you're going to kind of look at the family unit and how external aspects influence the internal unit. So that that in itself was all right, and I liked that. And I think what it was trying to do, or what I believe it was trying to do, was done well. It was just done against this backdrop of quite a peculiar situation. Certainly, the mother, Mrs. Flax, play... play, play that, that is a mouthful. The mother, Mrs. Flax, played by Sher is quite a fascinating character, but I didn't really get on with her. And the same with Lou Lansky, played by Bob Hoskins. There was just something about the two characters that I personally didn't take to. And I think that went some of the way to me not being particularly fond of the film. But in general, the narrative is well developed, it's well delivered. I think it works well with the family unit and the message of a mother and her two daughters and the familial bond that comes from that. Christina Ritchie's daughter, Kate, is adorable. If this was in... I'm just seeing how old she would have been. This was released in 1990. And Chris, Christina Ritchie was born in 1980. So she would have been 10 at its release, maybe 8 or 9 during production, depending on when it was produced. And Winona Ryder is great as well. So I think their performances kind of were, they were nice enough that it kept me engaged. Sher acted very well. I don't think there's any issue with any of the acting. I just didn't particularly take to the character of the mother at all. However, it's it's nicely shot. The cinematography is very pleasing. Um, it was also nominated for a Golden Globe. I apologise if you can hear a siren in the background. That's very, very loud. Um, I didn't even see where that went. I do apologise. It was nominated for the best performance by an actress in a supporting role in a motion picture. They need to shorten these titles. Um, Winona Ryder was the nominee there. Um, she Winona Ryder actually won the best supporting actress at the National Board of Review. She also won um, a few others. And apparently, Sher won the Worst Foreign Actress Award at the Yoga Awards. And Christina Ricci won the Young Artist Award. So it's won some pretty decent awards. The narrative, as I said, is nothing... It's nothing unique, it's nothing spectacular, but with it, it does a decent job. I just personally didn't like the situations or Mrs. Flax as a character. So it's by no means the worst film I've ever seen. I just think, for me, the bits it did right were fine, but for the most part, it just lacked in something to make it good for me.